Hello everybody, how you doing today? This is Pastor Green. We're doing another Bible study, Acts chapter 8. If you'd like me to come speak at your church or if you have any questions, you can email me at g-o-d-s-o-h-m-a-n at gmail.com. If you remember in the last chapter, Acts 7, it ended by saying, Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive, receive my spirit. And he knelt down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not the sin of their charge. And when they had said this, he fell asleep. So chapter 7 ended with them stoning Stephen. And then they put all their clothes at the feet of a man named Saul. Acts chapter 8, verses 1. And Saul was consented unto his death. And at that time there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial, and made great lamentations over him. So it sounds like Saul, his job was to go to all the different parts of the world and find these Christians and basically persecute them. And then it says, as for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entered into every house, and hailing men and women, committing them to prison. Therefore, when they were scattered abroad, when everyone preached in the world, when Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached to Christ unto them. If you remember in Mark 16, it says, Jesus is saying, And he said unto them, Go ye to all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. And then back in Acts 1, verse 8, it says, for you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, and all Judea and Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. So Jesus told his disciples, you know, you need to preach the gospel everywhere. And as we can see now in Acts 8, the, this, this guy Saul is going to all the parts of the world to find Christians so he can persecute them and put them in prison. You know, Noah's three sons dispersed from the ark about 2400 BC. You can see the red area is Japheth the orange area is Ham, and then the white area is Shem. And they, they went up across the world because they had to scatter to get away from each other so they can basically spread the people of the world. And then 400 years later, God promised the land to Abraham and his seed. And so far, they've only ever produced a tiny blue area, which is about 8,500 square miles. So the whole area in red there is what God promised the Jews, and they've only actually so far got the blue area. So there's the blue area right there, and there's the red area. <clears throat> so this is showing you basically a lot, a lot bigger the area that surrounds uh, Israel, which is a small little white area there. And the tiny blue area is Israel, which is about 8,500 square miles. And here in America, we have a couple states. We have New Jersey, which is slightly smaller than Israel. We have New Hampshire, which is slightly bigger. Vermont, which is bigger. And then... Um, MA, which is a little bit bigger as well. And here's Israel compared to the United States, how small it is. This little red dot right there is Israel, and all the green area is the Muslims. Those are the ones that want to attack Israel. Israel's population um, at 2017 was about 8.7 million. And it says that uh, the Muslims, they have over a billion. This is the Quran contains at least 109 verses that speak to war against non-believers. So all these Muslims want to kill the Israelites and the Jews. <clears throat> Imagine you were surrounded by a very volatile neighbor who was sworn to kill you and are required to kill you by their religion, and you're outnumbered 115 to 1. I mean, it would be it would be very difficult to live your life when you're surrounded 115 to 1. But see, Israel has this uh, Iron Dome and this, this great defenses. Every time the Muslims attack them, they have this defense system that's going to protect them. They have these anti-aircraft, anti, um, anti-missile defenses. I think it's called David's Slingshot. And this is a, a, a item called Trophy. And what this Trophy does is it detects class, uh, and classifies incoming threats. As soon as the incoming threat gets to a certain point, it computes intercept parameters and it transmits alerts to the crew. 
And then if there's a threat uh, producing danger, this system actually automatically attacks the threat. It's a fantastic vehicle. They've actually put on all their all their tanks and any kind of armored fighting vehicles. And for years, all these different Middle Eastern countries have attacked Israel. And um, Israel so far hasn't been beaten yet. And uh, 400 years later, the children of Abraham numbered about 2 million and 12 tribes that came out of Egypt. And they divided them up like this. You can see the 12 tribes right here and the different area that they possessed. And after 350 years of judges ruling the people, it was united under King Saul, King David, and King Solomon. And then King Solomon's son, Rehoboam, he was an idiot, and he divided the city, he divided the kingdom into two separate areas and caused civil war between the two of them. You had northern Israel and southern Israel. About right around 221 BC, the northern tribes were taken captive into Assyria. And around 606 BC, the lower tribes were taken into Babylon. So you can see right here, uh, 2021, the uh, northern tribes were taken into captivity into Assyria. And they replaced the folks from Assyria that the Assyria don't want. And these intermarried with the Jews and the half-breeds are called the Samaritans. So you can see up here, the Samaria and right, right north of Judea. And even still to this day, um, well, not really to this day, but as Jesus' time, people didn't like the Samaritans. In the time of Christ, the Samaritans are, were considered unclean to the Jews because they were half-breeds, they were half-Assyrians, and they were half-Jews. And you can see right here, the, uh, the dark orange area is the area that was Christian right around 325 A.D., and then the more tan area is the area that was Christian about 600 A.D., and the red lines just show you the spread of Christianity. <clears throat> Acts 8, verse 6. The people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spoke, hearing and seeing the miracles of which he did. For unclean spirits carrying, crying with a loud voice came out of many who were possessed with them, and had taken them to the palsies, and were lame, and were healed. And there was great rejoicing in that city. But there was a certain man called Simeon, which before time the same city was sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out himself it was a great one, to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, This man has a great power of God. And to him they laid regarded because to him they had regard because of the long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. But when they believed Philip preaching these things considering the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. And Simeon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. And when the apostles of were at the Jerusalem, heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent up to them Peter and John, who, and when they come down, prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. And when Simeon saw that, <clears throat> saw that laying the hands of the apostles' hands of the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that whomsoever I lay hands on may receive the power of the Holy Ghost. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor, nor a lot of this matter, for your heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent therefore of this wickedness, and pray to God, and perhaps the thought of thy heart may be given thee. For I perceive that there are, there are gall of bitterness in the bond of iniquity. Then he answered Simeon and said, Pray unto you, Lord God, for me, and none of these things which have spoken come upon me. And they which were testified and preached of the Lord, word of the Lord, returned to Jerusalem, <clears throat> preaching the gospel of many villages of the Samaritans. And the angel of the Lord spoke to Philip and said, Arise and go to the south, onto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem to Gaza, which was a desert. So you can see right here um, the West Bank and Jerusalem. Right over on the, light, the, right hand, the left hand side, you can see a little orange area. That's Gaza and the Gaza Strip. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of, of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under uh, Cadence, queen of the Ethiopians, who had charged all of their treasures and come to Jerusalem for the worship, was returning and sitting upon his chariot. And Eos the prophet, which is Elias, which is uh, Elijah. And the spirit of said to Philip, Go near and join themselves in the chariot. 
And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him reading the prophets Elias, and said, Understandeth thee what you ra thou raised? He's basically asking the, the eunuch, You understand what you're reading? And then he said, How can I accept some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come and sit with him. In place of the scripture which he read was, He let he led as a ship to the slaughter, and like a lamb dumb before his shears, he opened not his mouth. And his humiliation and his judgment was taken away. And whom shall I declare this generation, for his life is taken from the earth? And the eunuch asked Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet of this, of himself or from another man? Then Philip opened his mouth and began the same scripture, and preached him unto Jesus. And they went their way, and came to a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What does thou hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou hast may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still, and they went down both to the water, and Philip and the eunuchs, and he baptized him. Now it's really interesting, this is the King James Version, but verse 37 that says, If thou believest with thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That verse is actually missing from many, many Bibles. If you look here at Acts 8, this is a NIV You've got um, 36 and 38, and right next to 38, there's a little D there. Uh, and basically, if you look, it says, And they traveled along the road, and came to some water. The eunuch said, Look, here's water. What can stand in the way of me being baptized? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Both Philip and the eunuch went down to the water, and Philip baptized them. Where well, they're skipping the whole 37 part. Uh, Acts 36 to 38 in the God's Word translation if you look next to 38, there's a little A there. And if you go down to the footnotes, it says some manuscripts and translations add verse 37. Philip said to the official, if you believe with your heart, you can be, you can be baptized. And the official answered, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. The uh, Names of God Bible. If you look right next to 38, there's a little A there. Again, it's missing. What about the New American Standard Bible? If you look at 37, it says, see the footnote. And it says, um, the insert of verse 37, basically saying they're missing it. This is, and Philip said, if you believe with your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So at least these put it in the footnotes, but it should actually be in the text. See, it says it's missing, in, uh, it's, it's, it's missing the verse. Again, the New World Translation, 37 is missing. There's a little line there. See that right there? Acts 8:39. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more, and he went his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Atias, and passing through, he preached all the cities till he came to Caesarea. And you can see this is Ashdod. This is what they're talking about. It's a port city. And this is right here where um, Philip ended up going. Well, anyways, guys, that's the video. I appreciate you guys watching with me. If you have any questions, you can email me, but you can also comment. Um, make sure you guys like and share and subscribe. Uh, the more people that like and comment, the better my, my views get. And the more it shares, the more people. I'm going to put a couple links on here so you can see some more information. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.